Latvia shows its support for Ukraine on nearly every corner. But not everyone here condemns Russia's actions. The country is home to a significant Russian-speaking population, and the conflict in Ukraine has exposed some divisions. Until a couple of weeks and months ago, very comfortable just to watch uh, Russian media. And uh, of course you watch, because Russian media were translating Hollywood films, uh, good soap operas. Uh, uh, so you watch this and then comes news and you take the news automatically and then you continue with the movie or so. Uh, and uh, as, uh, as a wise person said, uh, with uh, propaganda it is like uh, radioactivity, you can't avoid it. Latvia has now banned all Russia-based television channels. Politicians here fear Moscow will manipulate viewers. And support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine is higher among Russophones here. But for the most part, speakers of the two languages coexist peacefully, if somewhat separately. During the Soviet era, Riga was the hub of the Baltics. Ethnic Russians were sent here to help industrialize the city, and many remained after the collapse of the Union. Now, around half of Riga speaks Russian as their first language. But Russian is not one of Latvia's official languages, and soon it will be phased out of schools. The government says this will allow all citizens equal opportunities in public life. Moscow has called the move discrimination. I can understand that um, Latvia really need kind of a boost to them, like national self-identification. So I would, well, I myself, I would think it would be better if they would promote Latvian more uh, instead of banning Russian. Russian is a complicated and beautiful language and it has so much more to it than the said um, pages of our history and of the current history, of course, as well. Riga has become a popular destination for those learning the language. In this bilingual city, language is about opportunity, not just identity. Julia Chapman, CGTN, Riga.